Wer sind die in der Ost who are the German military observers who are being detained in eastern Ukraine? Valued viewers, a very interesting question we'll be addressing here today on Klagemauer TV. Regardless of all media headlines claiming the opposite, the German military observers who have been detained in Slavyansk by pro-Russian activists are not OSCE committee members. The vice director of the OSCE Crisis Prevention Center, Klaus Neukirsch, confirmed this on the weekend. The group of seven military observers from OSCE countries, accompanied by a translator and five Ukrainian soldiers, has been in Ukraine since Monday the 21st and had, beginning from Donetsk, been patrolling and monitoring with undefined goal in eastern Ukraine. The Germans are explicitly patrolling by order of the German military. The action was requested by the illegitimate government in Kiev and approved and endorsed by both the Office of Foreign Affairs as well as the Ministry of Defense of Germany. This operation is formally based on the so-called Vienna document, which according to Wikipedia, cites trust-building and security-gaining procedures as its goal. This document can be understood as part of the procedure within the framework of OSCE conventional arms control. In Germany, the Army Center for Verifications at self Kant Barracks in Geilenkirchen plans such operations, provides the qualified staff and leadership personnel, and evaluates the results of their inspection and control visits. In his interview with the Bavarian Radio on the 24th of April 2014, German Colonel Axel Schneider emphasized that on their exclusively diplomatic mission, the only goal was to observe and appraise the amount of impact the Ukrainian government has. However, the fact that the group was traveling through Slavyansk when they were detained by the pro-Russian activists provokes amazement and is certainly not easy to explain. Slavyansk has been, after all, the main target of the military quote-unquote anti-terror operations initiated by the Ukrainian government since the visit of U.S. Vice President Joe Biden. Even Lieutenant Colonel Heiko von Rosenzweig, who had been employed on the observation mission in Crimea from, 5th, from the 5th until the 20th of March, declared the German observer's mission in the crisis area as exceptional, which, I quote, in this form has never happened in the history of the Vienna documents. It must be noted that the German government has up until now not given any explanation for this supposed diplomatic mission which might have brought light into these strange incidents. Just coincidentally, the group of military observers and Ukrainian soldiers never encountered any street barricades due to supposedly having a map with them of all the insurgents' blockades. If they had wanted to survey the situation in the city, why do they want to do this together with Ukrainian soldiers whose presence would certainly mean guaranteed provocation? In which way should this have been a quote-unquote trust-building and security-gaining measure? Dear viewers, we are in anticipation of having the answers to these questions soon. We hope that you'll join us again tomorrow here at Klagemauer TV so that we can give you more up-to-date background information which you won't find in the mainstream media. Goodbye for now. Join us again tomorrow.